Hey, welcome to another value add video. Ryan Gorelick here, sales and marketing manager for Grant Cardone Canada. We're gonna be talking about what to say on the appointment set call if you're calling someone and you're trying to get them into a new vehicle or more likely right now, a used vehicle, here's how to do it, okay? The opening. This is where salespeople get customers that say, I'm not interested right now. I'm okay, send me an email, we're good, we're fine with what we have, okay? Hey, John, it's uh, so-and-so here from XYZ Motors. How you doing? And immediately, if you were to receive that call, what do you think? What are you thinking when you get that call? When you get that call from the insurance company, from the bank, from the cell phone company, you go, shit, how do I get off this call as soon as humanly possible? My go-to is, oh, I'm just in a meeting. Appreciate it, I gotta run. You know, you might say, hey, I'm, I'm busy, or hey, send me an email. And it's because you don't have the time to waste on a cold call because you know they're gonna go through the whole pitch and you're good. So, when you say, hey, how's it going today? Hey, hey, you know, so-and-so, you know, how's the weather? Immediately, they're just gonna object. Now you're behind the eight ball and most likely you're not gonna get the appointment. So what you wanna do is you wanna say, Hey John, it's Ryan here, XYZ Motors. I know I probably caught you in the middle of something. I'll keep this super quick. Is that okay? And the reality is, is that most people are in the middle of something. They're with their kid, they're at work, they're watching TV, even if they're literally sitting on the floor, staring at the ceiling with a bottle of bourbon, they are in the middle of something. Okay, so that's the key thing. Initiate, you're gonna see when I break this down and and actually show you how to do this, this is the genius of what the Grant Cardone method teaches, is you actually initiate objections, and if I remove any objections, what am I left with? Smooth, open runway on a call, okay? Next piece, so they go, they always say, uh, okay, excellent. Reason for the call, and here's where, here's another objection that people have. Where did you get my name, like why, why are you calling me? Like, was my name just on some list? Is this a cold call? Who told you to call? So whatever it is that you're doing, if there's a private sale, if you know, um, you're the GM or you're the GSM or you're the sales manager and you said, hey, I want you to call these specific people. We want their car right now. We're gonna pay top dollar for their car. Okay, so um, I'll keep this super quick. Is that okay? Yes, go ahead. Excellent, John, reason for the call is my GSM, Sam, he wanted me to give you a call personally. Okay, to be frank, we are looking at the fact that you have this particular vehicle. Now, given the way the market is, we're willing to actually pay top dollar for that vehicle, way above and beyond what you would get for it in any other time. Now, pause. What am I doing here is I'm showing the customer that this isn't some random telemarketing cold call, this is actually specific to them and it's setting a hook. And it's also addressing the objection that they could have of, what is this? Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a big claim, okay? So the big claim, again, ties in with what are the other things that they could bring up that typically don't, they, they just don't wanna come in because their current vehicle's treating them just fine. Um, they have a monthly payment that they don't wanna go up, they don't wanna pay a ridiculous down payment, and they're getting the value. So I'm just gonna address it, just bring it up. Rather than them having to bring it up, I'm gonna just move it out of the way. So, uh, my GSM Sam, he wanted me to call you. Everything I said, up until now. What we're doing is we're having a specific sale where you can actually get out of your vehicle, get top dollar for it, without adding a ridiculous down payment, without increasing your monthly cost, and without literally getting into, and so on and so forth, right? Whatever you find your customers in your market bring up the most of objections. Now, the next thing that's gonna happen, and this is something that every single dealership has, so I'm not gonna spend any time on it, is, well, I need to qualify them. If they don't have the vehicle anymore, it doesn't make sense for my pitch. So, hey, to be sure I could even help you, and I'm gonna ask my qualifying questions. Uh, you know, are you still driving your X, Y, Z? Yeah, I am. Okay, good. So when would be best, and now I'm gonna go for the appointment. 
When would be best? Now, most salespeople, what they do is they go, uh, yeah, so uh, could you come in tomorrow or Thursday? When would be best for you? Which is great. And that's the classic sales thing. You want to offer two options. What I'm going to do is I'm going to offer the now appointment. Hey, if I could actually make time right now, can you come in right now? Uh, most of the people will say no. Uh, why? Because they're busy, they weren't expecting the call, and they have stuff going on in their life. But if they do have time, they had time to pick up the call, right? Maybe they're on a day off. Maybe it's a good time. They're thinking of it. They're interested. Why put it off till tomorrow? By tomorrow, they could have talked to someone, thought it over, and they're like, ah, this is stupid. Versus, okay, I'm on an impulse right now that you want the now appointment. Now, you're probably asking, what if as a salesperson, it's 2.15 and I have a 2.30 appointment and I say, hey, John, can you actually come in right now? I'm gonna have two people coming in. You say, hey, if I can make time, can you come in right now? Which, it gives you the out, but it also is very important to say because it creates urgency. Okay, so most of the time the customer is gonna say no anyway, but it's still important to ask because A, they could very well come in, and B, it creates that urgency of like, hey, I just dropped a big claim. This is an unbelievable deal. This is something that's never been seen in the market before we could pay this kind of dollar for your vehicle. Whatever your big claim is, it should be like a hook where it's like, wow, oh my God, dude, I gotta come in. So you're gonna be like, oh my God, you gotta come in and then be like, eh, you know, put it off. It makes no sense. You wanna keep that urgency to keep them being like, oh shit, dude, I, I gotta come in, okay? So now that you've done that, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're saying, okay, I locked, okay, when can you come in? Uh, is now a good time? No, now is not a good time. No problem. Can you come in later today or does tomorrow work better? Tomorrow, 2 p.m. Excellent. Tomorrow, 2 p.m. I'm going to shoot you over a calendar invite with a confirmation. I'm going to email it to you. I'll send you a text confirmation as well. Is this the best cell phone number for you? Yes or no, this isn't. Where can I text you a confirmation? I'm going to text them in real time, okay? Don't wait. Okay, I'm gonna offer, hey, would you consider, that's more on an incoming call, we could get into that in another video, but I wanna text people, don't stop information, offer information. Send them your business card, your digital business card, send them an image of the vehicle. When you get off the call, send them a selfie video of you with the vehicle, or if your lot's bare, whatever, just send the video of you, walk around, say, hey, this is the person you'll be seeing tomorrow, looking forward to it, just wanted to put a face of the name. The cell phone is absolutely crucial. It adds so much value to the customer. If you don't like sending videos, I, I never did. Trust me, just do it. You will get comfortable with it and it will add value and it will be worth it for you. Um, the final piece is you wanna uh, remove any obligation and lock the appointment down. So say, hey, can't wait. If there's any reason you couldn't make that appointment, would you be so kind as to just shoot me a quick text or an email? Absolutely no problem. Okay, good. And as of now, as it stands now, short of, you know, uh, a nuclear catastrophe or, you know, you, your kid getting into trouble at school and being called into the principal's office and you get a random call, is, you could say something funny, right? Put a little humor on it. Is there any reason you wouldn't want to show up to that appointment? Or, sorry, is there any reason you would not be able to show up to that appointment? Nope, I'll see you tomorrow. Or you might hear, oh, actually, let me check my calendar. Oh yeah, I'm picking up Susie tomorrow at, uh, could we actually do 3 p.m. instead? That's the reason you wanna ask. And it also shows, cause sometimes people will set appointments and not show, it's not that common. Usually they'll show up. Sometimes they'll just set it just to get you off the phone or maybe they didn't realize they had an appointment. That's why it's important to ask. And then finally, if you wanna remove any obligation, you could say something like, hey, by the way, I just wanna let you know, when you come here, if this isn't an absolute no brainer, then I won't even ask for your business. Okay, again, Grant Cardone, the genius of it is, and this, this is why we made a name for ourselves in the automotive space, is because you're just being real with people, you're just being common sense, and you're removing any of the barriers by just addressing it. People are thinking it anyway, bring it up. People want information, offer it to them. So that's how we do it. Um, if you can tell by the style of this video, by the style of what's in it and the content, we're very just, straight up with customers. We do that with our customers. We want our clients to do that. Um, we work with big C stores. We look, small town stores love us because of that um, and anything in between. So 
wherever you are, wherever your store is, we are here to help you. Um, if you want more content, please reach out. Um, there's going to be a link below. Follow us, subscribe, appreciate the opportunity to help you. I hope you got a good uh, return on your time watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.